So it says a wooden block of mass two kilograms moving at a velocity of five meters per second collides with a crate resting on a flat horizontal surface. After the collision, the crate moves to the right at one meters per second, ignore friction. Um, okay, guys, so whenever you have two objects that are gonna crash into each other, did they mention time? I didn't see any time. So we're not gonna try use anything with impulse. We're not gonna go, we're not gonna use this formula. That's out. When we have two objects that are just, and they're just talking about the velocity and the mass and blah, 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 blah. Then we are rather gonna use the sum of the momentum initial is equal to the sum of the momentum final. And then you're just gonna go M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. Easy as that. You then choose a direction. We say right is positive, for example. And we just go plug everything in. So here we've got our first object. It had a mass of two and a velocity of five. Plus the second object has a mass of nine and a velocity of zero. That's what its initial velocity was because they tell us that it was resting, okay? And then we're gonna say equals um, now, the two kilogram, we don't know what the two kilogram block is doing. So we're just going to say that its mass is still two, of course, but we don't know what its velocity is. So we're just going to go like that. We don't know what its velocity is, but we do know that the other block is going to move off at one meters per second. And there we go, guys. Can it be any easier? Um, and then we're just going to solve for velocity. And so if you had to go do all the calculations, you should find out that the final velocity is gonna be 0 0.5 meters per second. And because we got a positive answer and we chose to the right as positive, we can say to the right, okay? We can say to the right, that's it. Now, moving into the next question. Ah, oh, look at this guys, they're talking about time. As soon as they talk about time, and they've just done a momentum question with you, I'm 90% sure that it's gonna be one of these ones, okay? Then you wanna use that formula over there. So it says, if the collision lasts, now there's something important I'm about to mention. If the collision lasts for 0 0.6 seconds, calculate, now listen carefully, calculate the force that the wooden block exerts on the crate. So who are we actually looking at in this question? Are we looking at the wooden block or the crate? It says calculate the force that the wooden block exerts on the crate. So we are gonna use the crate as our, um, our reference. We wanna know what is happening with the crate, okay? So we can say F net, and then the time is uh, 0 0.6 equals to, now change in momentum can be expanded into MVF minus MVI. Let's choose a direction as positive as well. So we're gonna go F net times 0 0.6 equals. Now the mass of the crate, Jeepers. Now which one is the crate and which one is the box? It says a wooden block of mass moving at collides with a crate. Oh, okay, so the crate is the nine kilogram one, okay? And it had a final velocity of one meters per second minus the mass of nine and the initial velocity of that crate was zero. Then we can go calculate the net force acting on that um, crate and we should end up with 15 Newtons. And I should have actually said to the right because we chose right as positive and we just got a positive answer. And that's it guys.